Welcome back guys. We are back to episode 22 of North American Streams Pokemon Violet Walkthrough. Guys, we are going to head to the Elite Four and try to take them down. Also, I think, um, we're definitely gonna have to give Gyarados Ice Fang. We got Hyper Beam instead. Alright, instead of uh, Ice Fang, we might go with. Uh, let's see, it's some Regan. Attack and attack. Might as well give this guy uh, Earth power. Alright guys, I think we are going to head to the Elite Four. Before we head to the Elite Four, guys, we're going to take on Cassiopeia. Man, this press down is so fast, I almost lost control of it. Good evening, Messi. What class would you like to take? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna pass. 
find this guy. Maybe this old man. Let's head to the director's office. Let's see if that's where this guy is. Master Jesus saved. How is your treasure hunt coming along? Having a such adventure, I hope. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear. Do you keep in mind the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow? Simply go where your heart takes you and you shall do splendidly. Speaking of such pursuits, there's been something on my mind of late. If I could ask your expertise on the matter, it would be most grateful. You see, I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe to do something, some sort of a slang. Okay, tell me, what does chugi mean? That's not dating. Oh, I think I understand. For both speaker and recipient, it is not a pleasant word I take. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. When I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel much closer to students. I am most grateful to you for your help on that front. Ah, uh, message you save help. Kind of you to stop by. I must say I'm pleased to see you on school grounds again. Travel and adventure certainly have their place, but it does good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of such things, something I would just like to ask you. I understand you have joined a variety of classes during your time here at the academy. But if I may ask, which of our facility members has made the most favorable impression on you? I suspect some element of diplomacy may be at work here, but if that is indeed how you feel, then I am most happy to hear it. We are truly blessed to have so wonderful teachers and staff members at Yuval Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none in their commitment to our students' ongoing education and well-being. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts, Master Jesus Saves. You came even closer. Uh, we're gonna try to speak to him one more time. Thank you for your visit, Master Jesus Saves. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. Haha, I'll leave their identity to your imagination. But now, lest I forget, there's another matter I would very much like your opinion on. Do you know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were among the youth these days? Oh, is that so? I suppose I have indeed seen some of the academy's male students sports in such a style. Could it be that the Pandur has 
already had his day in the sun. Perhaps I ought to consider a change of wig. Ah, that is to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Master Jesus Saves. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. If you ever need any help with any school related matters, I should be happy to lend an ear. Not this guy. Biology. Could it be? Ah, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to things here at the Academy Jesus Saves? Yes. Very glad to see you're having fun. Oh, have you been using the Polka Ducks app? Yes, indeed. I'm the one who... Every time someone using the app catches a Pokemon, I then it gets sent to me. It's really helping with my Pokemon research, so be sure to catch any and finally we'll put it off your poke up. Okay, so not this guy. So 30, register 30. Pokemon in your app. I see you've already registered 30 piece of Pokemon to your Pokedex for me. Wow, so you caught this kind of Pokemon and this one, all this data, this is it the best. Oh, sorry about that. I got a little excited there. Well, I got the feeling that you're going to be great, a great help in my Pokemon research. Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. Oh, swipe. Okay. Find Pokemon you've never seen before. Give a Pokeball as well. All right, man. This is off. Let's just go. Uh. Wowzers. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome to the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? So I guess you transferred in recently. You must be just saved, right? Everybody's been talking about you. I've heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy and even picked the fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. I'm kind of bored just sitting in here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach. And students only come here to skip class. So yeah, drop by if you can, deal. Deal? Marion. Hey there, come on in. Welcome to the nurse's office. Can you see us? Have you toughened up a bit? Yes. So you know your tough stuff. Uh, but seriously, you look a bit different. I bet it's because of all the crazy experiences you have during your treasure hunt. What you have been up to? Wow, that's super cool. I'm sure jealous of you kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me on the other hand. I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know. I can teach classes on anything like that. I couldn't pass the certification exam to become an actual health teacher. 
I took it so many times, but no luck. So here I am, stuck forever in the nurse's office. Oh, uh, sorry, I guess this isn't a fun thing to talk about. But you're just a good listener. I find myself telling you all kinds of stuff. I hope you'll still come see me, even if I talk your ear off like this. You came even closer with Nurse Miriam. I'm gonna try one more time. Third time's a charm. Are you tired? Could it be? Who could it be? So were you looking for me? I've been away from the missile this lately. Do you need something from me? Yes. Are you required? Just a sec. Oh yeah, I guess it's pretty unusual for me to be out of the nurse office like this. Well, I'm actually doing a bit of studying. Thought I'd try my best at the health teacher certification exam one more time. You can do it. Just so you know, 
bold of you not because I'm inspired by seeing somebody working hard at the treasure hunt, okay? Or maybe I am just a little bit. So you know, uh, thanks, CD. Uh, my break time's almost over. I know you're cheering me on, Jesus saves. of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Today you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all Paldea, the Great Crater. Are you all aware a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists in the heart of our region? The area inside this crater is called Area Zero and research of its geological straight and material composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. It was long believed that a certain something rested at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Aha, perfect timing to make eye contact, young Jesus says, answer me this. What exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the great crater inside Area Zero? Treasure? That is correct. You're a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework. Prior to coming to my class, that's right, some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in the world rested in the depths of the great crater. So much for dreams of treasure hunting though, as a lab has been built in those very same depths. Oh, and before I forget, you would do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits to all but those who have official business there. Do not dare enter the foolish notion of gallivanting off to Area Zero in search of riches. There is no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. Besides, if it were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. To sense today's lesson, we will unravel more of history's enigmas next time. Not what I expected. I'm interested in fighting that dude. office. You see, I'm glad you're here. That's some good news. You're not going to believe this, but I passed the health teacher certification exam. Congratulations. Thank you so much. 
I saw you pushing yourself real hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Congratulations. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Jesus saves. Ten max revives. Miriam, but they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. Yes, you wait though. I'll be standing in front of the class at this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. Okay. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. Casopia has to be in the staff room. Salvatore. Whoa. Thanks for coming in and say bonjour. You are, uh, yes, you say it's from class 1A. The way you conduct yourself in my class and the answers you give to my questions, I admit, it piqued my interest. You are quite the interesting pupil, I must say. Tell me, Jesus saves. Give it a choice. Which do you prefer? For older things. Ah, so you prefer the things of the past, do you? The potential I saw in you was real after all. Yes, this one may indeed be of good use to me someday. Oh, you can disagree that I was simply thinking out loud. I enjoy the look of the city. Thanks, it saves. Is it her? Time. Hello, Jesus saves. Feel free to. Come ask me questions anytime. There we go. Cassopia. Jesus saves. No way. This little dude. Thanks for coming. <laughs> it's Penny. No way. I would have never guessed it was Penny. This has to be a trick. The big boss. Castle Pia, you were both me all along. I don't believe it. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, Sophia, thanks. Clive, sorry to keep you. Five. The letter of apology, Miss Time had me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so was you after all? Uh, no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh, in the flesh, I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. 
when you record what happens next so I can send a video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, I will. Castle Pia. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the boss of Team Star. The name's Castle Pia. No penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. This is a trick. This has to be free. Try to penny of Team Star. I will hold back this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code.
the chop. Let's go. It's all over now. Penny, it's finally over, guys. It's done. Sophia, we're done here. I think we should call it quits. 
But hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? Kai Koma, you gotta be joking, Casopia. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. Eerie. But you didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Atticus, indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in the tyrannous operation. Atticus, twas a bloodless victory, we assure you. Ortega, yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. Casopia, but the bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired. Tactically, there's no way we're getting off scot free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up the creek. Casopia, I'll fix the mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying, Mila says. Casupia, I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this. So I'll take responsibility for everything, Casupia says. Atticus, oh noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Casupia, now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Mila, oh yeah? And what about you? Casopia, I can't go back. Why, Koma? Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? Casopia, all I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Here, stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things, Casopia says. Atticus, Prithi, speak to us? What is thine intent? Casopia, da da da. Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything, Casopia says. Thanks for everything, Jesus saves. And you too, Clive. Clive, I'm glad to see this through to the end. Penny, I guess this is for Team Star and me too. Clive, hold that thought. Miss uh, Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit, Penny says. Clive, why not simply order them to? Penny, our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them to all to do stuff, but I could never order them. Clive, so it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. Penny, they did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Clive, because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Penny, yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any cha challenge made to them. Clive, thus the idea of Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. Clive, what does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? Penny, there. They're my greatest treasure. 
Spl splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. Penny, what? Clive, now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Penny, hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Clive says, well then, before we talk, haha. -ha. The director Claval. Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. Penny, but, but why? Claval, I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Claval, students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers. After all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't that outfit a bit much? And he says, plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Cabal, um, well, that's quite enough of that for now. Cabal, everyone, why don't you come on out? Yo, big boss, Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Barely is a long hidden countenance, a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So am I heard your real name's Penny? How have you been this whole time? Morty, we found you at last. You had no idea how worried we've been. Eerie. Okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hasta la vista, Casopia, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies, Claval says. Penny, come again? As director of the Academy, Claval says, I let you down. My handing of your situation. My handling of the situation was a dismal failure. Penny, what? I still don't. I mean, why? Claval, you all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Claval, ever since my first day as director, all I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. But I now know this place was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my heart to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Okoma, does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist. Should that be your wish? says Penny isn't that great now we can all stay together Atticus oh mine heart is giddy with glee Penny but but I betrayed all of you you mean Operation Starfall director Claval told us all about it far as we heard you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled you were just worried about us right Mila not like we ever chuck the team just cause someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. Atticus, I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Here we sorry for making you worry, BB. We're 
we're all okay now, Penny, but even so, Kuval, hold on everyone, I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star for this band has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Kuval, your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardization driving the Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service, Kaval says. Community service, Benny says. Kaval, you, yes, specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. Benny, and that stands for the Star Training Centers. They should be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Jusei battling his way through your bases. The bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students at Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And this is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Penny, uh, no. It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. Ortega, this may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be punishment and all, but you should totally join it too, Penny. That is this true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. Really, we can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. Pokemon, we were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? Penny, you guys, Jesus saves. What do you think? Penny says. Penny, huh? But, but, I, um, I just. Kaval, no need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. Kaval, for now at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, uh, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Kaval, Master you say, please stop by my office later if you want. Alright guys, we did it. To the nurse first. Let's see what she's saying. Okay, she had nothing to say. Oh, let's head to the directors. Gotta go see her why. You know who's out by the time. Claval, I hear you are, Master Jesus Saves. I wanted to thank you for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star, Claval says. If not for you, I, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Knock, knock, knock. Claval, who is it? Penny, um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in, Kaval says. 
Penny, he hello, Director. About this STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. Quibal, that's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. Penny, but um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Quibal, why so? Because of Operation Starfall? Penny, no, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. And what would that be, Quibal says. Penny, um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Cabal, ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that, uh, uh, I mean, I'm literally sure I won't do it again. Cabal, hmm. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how best to proceed. I figure as much, Penny says. Well, I do apologize, Master Juices, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Well, I'm keeping my LP, bro. All right, guys. Striking new revelation. That's it. That's all for this episode. We just disbanded Team Star. Their final chapter has come to a close. Thanks again for watching. C'est la vie. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye for now.